Okay, this is a video to show you how to create uh, some Veterans Day bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the initial screen of the program. I click Create New Bingo Card Project, which gives me a choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. I choose a blank bingo card, um, or I my own items. I can choose alphabet numbers. Uh, I can choose uh, events which contain things like birthdays, bridal showers, baby showers, school subjects like English, geography, history, uh, math. Uh, but if I go into holidays, I can find Veterans Day if I scroll to the bottom of the list. There's Veterans Day. I simply highlight it and um, either double click on it or click on it and then click OK. So uh, there's my Veterans Day. Now here's a list of words relating to Veterans Day. Uh, there's a bingo card containing those words. Uh, I can add uh, additional um, words to the list if I um, want to. So, for example, if I wanted to um, add uh, World War II as an example, World War II and uh, World War One, let's add that as well. Now you can see the items are in the order that I entered them. World War is near the end of the alphabet, so it's in. Uh, uh, it looks almost like it's in alphabetical order, but it's not. If I do sort, you will actually rearrange the items into alphabetical order. If there are any items I don't want, I can also delete them. So, for example, if I decide I would rather not have uh, history on the list, I could simply click on it and then click delete. Um, and I can customize the list of words as I like. I can also customize the size and appearance of the bingo cards. I can um, change the bingo card size. So I can make a 3x3 three three bingo card, 4x4 four four bingo card, 5x5. Five five. Uh, I can make a 6x6, six six, although I don't have quite enough items to fill up a 6x6 six six bingo card. I'd have to add a few more items into the list. So we'll stick to 5x5. Five five. I can choose whether or not to have their heading on the bingo card. I can change what the um, heading might say by changing this word here. I can choose whether or not to have the free space in the middle of the bingo card. Uh, and again, I can choose what the free space might um, say. You can see the free space here. The sample bingo card on the screen has got the words in the same order as this list. The real bingo cards will contain the items in a different uh, random order, as you will see in a moment. Um, I can also change the fonts and colours of the bingo card as well. If I go to the format menu, there's some options here. Colours, fonts, advanced layout. So let's change the colours. Perhaps we'll use... Uh, red and white um, vertical stripes make it look a little bit like a flag uh, we'll make that red the free space square we'll make that uh, a blue background with white text and uh, so we'll make the um, heading also a uh, blue background with white text and perhaps we'll make the lines red so I don't know quite how that's going to look but it'll be red, white and blue anyway uh, perhaps we should change these as well but I I've left the, the text color on the squares to black at the moment. Click OK. Uh, there's my uh, red, white, and blue bingo card. Um, oh, suppose I'm happy with that. I could go back and change it again if I wasn't. Uh, and I would now be ready to print. Let's look at the options that affect the printing. This option here is called Print Call List. I can turn it off if I don't want it. What it does is it will print a extra page at the start of the bingo cards with a list of these words in a random order. If you're the bingo caller and you need a printed reference to the items that are going to be used in the game, uh, it's uh, very handy to have that. Uh, you don't have to use it if you don't want. You can select the items to be put called out in the game yourself, or you can let the software do it during the game with an extra option that I'll mention at the end of the video. And I'll show you that extra option. But we'll leave it on so you can see in the um, preview what the call list would look like. I can also choose how many bingo cards to print Per page. Um, if I put more bingo cards on the page, each individual bingo card will be smaller. But if I'm printing a lot of bingo cards, provided I'm prepared to cut up the paper, um, I would potentially save a lot of paper if I printed four bingo cards per page instead of one. Um, I also choose how many bingo cards I want to print. I can put in as many as I need here 1, 10, 100, 1000, up to 9999. So in this example, I'm going to put 50. And I'm now ready to print, or I will do print previous so I can see on screen what the um, bingo cards would look like. Okay, the first page is the call list, the list of words in random order, and you can see they're all there A hero, marines, airman, war, grave, memorial, and so forth. Um, so that's my call list. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, 
and do next page to get to the first bingo card. There you see a random arrangement of the words relating to Veterans Day, and the first bingo card, and if I click next page, you'll see the second bingo card is different, with again the words in a different random order. Next page, the next page, uh, bingo card is different, and so on, until I get to the 50 bingo cards that I chose to print. As I say, I could have easily put in more than 50 if I wanted to. Okay, if I close the um, print preview window, uh, and I go back to the main screen, I'll just show you this last option where the software can help you select items during the game. If you're the bingo caller, you simply say play, go to call game, and it will choose an item at random, show you on the right hand side the current item, and on the left hand side it will show you the previously selected item. So when I click next, it will choose another item at random, marine, and it will show you marine above battle. Here, and then the third item, fourth item, fifth item, and so on. Eventually, a scroll bar will appear once I've called out enough items. But I can still go back and see the items that have previously been called out. So that's basically um, it. If you want to try the software, go to bingocardprinter.com. You can download a free trial version of the software. Hopefully, you will like it. And if you do like it, you can register and upgrade to the full version of the software. Um, thank you very much. Go to bingocardprinter.com. Download the software. It's compatible with all recent versions of Windows. Thank you very much.